Shalom and welcome to a new series of Living Supernaturally. This is where we learn about God's Word and we meditate on His Word for our growth and for our spiritual development. Today we are looking at a fresh series on being a child of God and what it really means to be a child of God. Looking into scripture and reading a few verses, John chapter 1 verse 12, But to all who believed him and accepted him, he gave the right to become children of God. 1 John chapter 3 verse 1, Behold what manner of love the Father has bestowed on us, that we should be called children of God. To be born into God's family is an is an awesome privilege. It is an honor. But it is not something that we have earned. So let's look at what the Bible refers to as who are the children of God. Scripture refers to those who believe in Jesus as the children of God. Now this is not a position that we have created for ourselves or have done anything to earn. But we enter into this relationship because of the covenant relationship we have with God. And it is the love of God, it is God's great love that takes this initiative to bring us into His family and call us the children of God. So how do you and I become the children of God? Being the children of God means that we have to be born into the family of God. And this happens when we build and when we confess our faith in Jesus. Our faith in Jesus is what results in our spiritual rebirth. Spiritual rebirth is being born again. And this is not a physical birth that results from a human passion or a human plan, but this is a birth that comes from God. So when we hear the gospel message, when we repent, we confess of our sins and give our lives to God, when we make Jesus as our Lord and Savior, we become a child of God. We become a co-heir with Christ and everything in God's kingdom also becomes ours. So all that has been given to God, all that has been given to Him in the kingdom becomes ours. And through the next few days, we are going to be looking at some of these privileges of being a child of God. Now Jesus taught that only the children of God experience new birth and the opportunity to see this family, this kingdom of God. So as we spend the next few days looking at it, may we begin to enjoy and understand the privilege we have in being a child of God. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we are so privileged to know that you have made us your children, not because of who we are or what we've done, but because of the free gift of life that you have given us and by what you have done on the cross. Lord, for anyone who is watching today, who wants to be that child of God, Lord, we, we give this opportunity, Lord, for them to confess their sin, to come to you, and Lord, to receive you as their savior. Because when we have a spiritual rebirth, Lord, we belong to you. We thank you for this privilege once again. We ask these things in your precious name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.